Hey. Good morning. Week 10 of our training for the Run Disney Marathon. We're here at our favorite park, but if you stick around, you'll see footage of historic Riverwalk. Thanks for joining. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> subscribe please subscribe hit notifications we're uploading videos every week as we get closer and closer to the marathon in January at Walt Disney World so today was coach wants to say something uh, nothing out there today no was a long run Saturday it was our 11 mile day and yeah, we, we made it six and a half. Yeah, six and a half. It, it was uh, it was really tough. So uh, we did something crazy. We did a, a hit workout on Thursday, and today we're paying for it. So we could barely lift our legs yeah, today. Uh, so eh. so anyway, but you know, remember and it was just be hot flexible and yeah. a lot know, of excuses. But no, tons of excuses. Yeah, yeah. But we made it six and a half miles yeah, plus Millie's walk beforehand. So yeah, yeah, yeah we practically covered yeah. a lot of miles. So that's a recap of our uh, long run Saturday. We're but, posting videos every week, even when the run was yeah. not that great. Yeah, that's right. You know, uh, <laughs> we have uh, something really cool uh, to show you. We took a quick vacation. We went somewhere. Yeah, we did. Uh, we did it safely. Mm -hmm. uh, but we went somewhere. We visited San Antonio, Texas. A couple hours down the road, easy. We were able to take Millie to Grandma and Grandpa's house, drop her off for a couple mm -hmm. days, and we went down and we had a lovely time. We, we did. This was one of our other excuses. We ate some food that we wouldn't probably normally eat. Uh, what did you say it? last time? We should eat it. We should. Oh my gosh. Some of it. Some of, some of it. it wasn't worth it. Yeah. That's something that's changed about us. I, I mean, but we had a lot of drinks and stuff. Uh, uh, the deal is, though, it's historic. And we decided we need to do our weekly run. We were there, so we ran uh, for the first time ever uh, while on vacation. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. Well, uh, other than uh, like an actual run Disney race, yeah. which technically I suppose yeah. we're running on uh, vacation. That's less but... vacation, more celebration. We... We chose voluntarily to get up early on one of our vacation days and run in a place that we weren't familiar with. And it was awesome. Yeah, it was. It was, it was really, really fantastic. So not only did we run a, a bit on uh, uh, the river walk, uh, but we also ran through a, a historic mm -hmm. neighborhood. And uh, we ran to the site of the 1968 uh, World's Fair, right? Yeah. So here we are starting out at what is known as the Selena Bridge. The Selena Bridge. It's in the movie Selena. Not sure if she was actually, like, if that's the, like, because, you know, uh, the movie's telling her story. Right, so right. if that's the actual bridge where yeah. that uh, park like took place. I don't know. Uh, so we start on the river walk. It's beautiful. Start and on the river walk. Sorry. Hardly anybody there. Too. Oh my gosh, nobody. But here's the deal. Our original plan was to run down the river walk for a while. <laughs> But the river walk, at least where our hotel was, was about this wide yeah. and uneven. And I, every time we walked down it, could see myself falling in the water. <laughs> so I decided that we should probably just like change the first part of our run yeah. to run on the street. Yeah. So we ran up some stairs, yeah. all rocky style, and then we ran down the street for a while. Yeah, now here's the deal. If you've never been to the river walk, it is beautiful, but there is no railing keeping you from simply just stepping off the sidewalk. And I, we're talking about along the entire river walk. Yeah. It, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. And it does widen up, we found it, out. It, it does. Later, it like, does. later on, we yeah. probably would have been okay if yeah. we had gone down the river walk. So, uh, we went that up, part's pretty skinny. We went up to the street. Mm -hmm. uh, now, we're not used to running uh, in, in, <laughs> in like a like downtown situation. Downtown situation. So, you know, we had a lot of crosswalks and, and uh, it, it kind of... It was neat because it really forced us to change the way we run, right? We had to mm -hmm. stop, like totally yeah. stop. Uh, but it was a great run. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we went to... King William 
historic neighborhood in San Antonio. I've never been there. I don't, you've never been no, there, right? No, never been there. So it was just this gorgeous little neighborhood. The houses were built largely in like the mid 1800s, early 1900s. Um, and the neighborhood was actually originally um, mostly German immigrants uh, from the time, um, you know, business owners and things like that who lived in this neighborhood. Um, and then there was a devastating flood, right? So like so much of the part of town that we visited, it was on the Riverwalk. So it was on the San Antonio, I'm pretty sure it's called San Antonio River. That I need to check. Um, and in 1921, there was this devastating flood and, you know, a lot of the families had moved away at that point anyway, but that was pretty much the end of like the, the German, um, immigrants living in that neighborhood. They all just kind of left. And then over the years, it became like kind of more and more run down kind of neighborhood. And by the sixties, it was like most of the, the big, like opulent houses were turned into apartments. You know, they were split up and turned into little like rent a room type apartments until this guy, um, whose name I'm not remembering, um, bought one of those houses. He, he was really into like uh, preservation and things like that. And the house that he was living in had been flagged to be raised to make room for a highway. So he bought one of these houses in 1968 and fixed it up. And then like throughout the next several years, he bought other houses and fixed them up and sold them to, you know, like-minded preservation type people and so now the neighborhood is just like beautiful, yeah, beautiful. beautiful. beautiful it's homes. so beautiful oh, and beautiful. oh my gosh the homes were yeah. just gorgeous so we ran you know um probably close to a mile through this neighborhood down a long block and then turn around down yeah. uh, well, it's a little less than a mile but it was lovely and many many of them have historic designations yep. and uh some of them are uh, not only restored to their former glory, but also uh, museums. Mm -hmm. So that was really cool. Yeah. And, and, and then as we left that neighborhood, mm -hmm. uh, we saw in the distance the uh, Tower of the Americas. And that tower mm -hmm. uh, designates the site of the 1968 World's, World's Fair. Fair. Uh, which was yeah. really, really cool. So we ran down there mm -hmm. and we found out that the Tower of the Americas is taller than... It's taller than the Space Needle. Yeah. It is shorter than that tall building in Toronto, whose name I'm forgetting. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah, we visited that. We walked around it. Yeah. We're not going up those things. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, but, but, but it's, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was really nice. And the morning that we decided to run, uh, I mean, the weather was just perfect. I don't understand it. It was like the same temperature it is here when we're dying of heat exhaustion. Mm -hmm. The sun was fully out. I guess it was a little hazy. I mean, it that blocked it. Yeah. The humidity was only like 10 points lower than it is, but it was like yeah. wonderful. Yeah, well, wonderful, I think, wonderful. I think we could have just kept on running. We could have, yeah. So it was it was really awesome. And, and uh, the footage in and around town, like uh, here... <laughs> Uh, it, it, it really was great. Again, we had to change our awesome yeah we had yeah. to change our running style, but I, I really felt like we could have just kept on going mm -hmm. and going and, and and it was nice to you know during the run to you know kind of um, take in the sights and you know look at some of the beauty around like the Tower of Americas mm -hmm. and, and even running above the Riverwalk and looking down over it. Uh, it was really a, a great run. Mm -hmm. It was it was really nice. And we got in our weekly run. Yeah, on vacation. <laughs> on vacation, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, although we had some uh, magnificent drinks uh, and, uh, and, you know, some great food and some food, uh, we, didn't, we didn't really overdo it, which is, uh, who are we? Who are we? <laughs> we took some of our own food with us. We took a yeah. sensible breakfast yeah. for every morning. I'm not really sure what's happened to us, but, yeah. I don't know, we're rolling with it. But either way, week... 10 like 10 in the books so here we are we didn't quite hit 11 on our long run saturday but that's okay we're gonna uh we're gonna uh, wait for our next long long run saturday in two weeks mm -hmm. that one is supposed to be 13. So, we'll hit 13. Uh, yeah we'll, we'll uh, of course tune in remember every week we're uploading a video uh, please keep the comments coming ask us questions uh, give us advice. Uh, we're we're having a great time. Uh, hope you are uh, as well, uh, and hope you enjoy uh, these videos. You know, we love doing it because it's always an adventure with you.